What's up guys, I welcome you to my channel once again. My name is Obed here and in today's video we are going to talk about how to design this elegant yet simple birthday flyer in Adobe Photoshop. But before we get into the video, I want to remind you that the ultimate craft design resource is still available at a launching price. So if you are interested in getting yourself a copy, I will leave the link in the description of this video or I will pin the link in the comment section so you can check it out. Now back into your video. So first let's open our Photoshop. Right now head over to your file, click on new and then give your flyer a name. So I am going to name my Elegant bed with wire. And then leave the rate at 8. Leave the units in inches. Leave the height at 9. And then leave everything as that is. The resolution should be at 300 because you are going to use it on social media. And then click on create. Alright, now let's add our guide. So head over to your view. Click on new guide. And then change the position to 10%. Make sure the vertical um, orientation is toggled. Click on OK. Go back again. Click on New Guide. And then this time around 90%. Then click on OK. And let's do it for the horizontal orientation too. So toggle the horizontal orientation. Then change the position to 10%. And click on OK. Then let's one more time. 90% click on K. Good. Now the next thing we are going to do is to design our background. So head over to your resources and I'm going to link all of these uh, in the description of this video. So first let's drag and drop this green and gold background here. We can also get all of these in the ultimate design resource pack. I mean the background design and more of it so we can or check that out like I said I'll leave the link in the description of this video to check it out all right I'm going to keep this right here rasterize it and then grab my eraser tool I'm going to increase the size of the brush okay let me keep it at 1500 Sorry, 500 pesos. Let's see. Good. Now let's get rid of the lower parts because we don't want uh, this part. So, up to this piece is good. Now, with the background layer selected, go to filter, go to blur, then click on Gaussian blur, and then change this to. 20 percent okay let's let's do it 50 and see okay i think 50 percent is good then click on okay good now let's um add some color grading to the background image so that it looks more popping so head over to your image click on adjustment click on hue and saturation and then let's increase the Saturation to 40. Now let's see what we can do to the hue. Um, okay, this is okay. Minus 5. It's okay. Alright, I think this is okay. You can always do changes to the background. Alright. Now that we have our background in place. I'm going to click on this um, lock here to lock the background. Now head over to your shape and then select the round rectangle tool. Then draw a rectangular shape like this. Awesome. Good. Alright, now press on the control key on your keyboard and then adjust this side like this. Come to the top. And then press on the control key. You press and hold. And then you adjust. After that, you release your mouse. Then you release your uh, finger from the 
control key all right cool so let's do some adjustments we can always um okay awesome this is good for me good now on your keyboard press on control plus j j for johnny just come to the duplicates right and then let's adjust it like this so that it's it looks just like the original one very uniform good now press on control plus j again to duplicate and then you adjust six or so And then for the last time you press on control by j and so you are going to duplicate it four times good and then you do your adjustments make sure the spaces between are very um similar or close or the same good now that we have our shapes in place click on the first shape that we drew and then on your keyboard press and hold the shift key and then click on the last shape that we um, added to select all of them and then you rotate it like this you adjust it like this position it very well somewhere here is okay for me then i'll click on this guy here awesome right now select the first shape and then press on ctrl plus g and then select the lower one and then you can change the color to this color right here just orange so this is the color code then click on ok and then with your arrow keys you adjust it like this all right let's stretch it out a little bit it's too big shouldn't be that big okay and then let's reduce the opacity to 50 percent good now select this one and then decrease the the length like this select this one and then decrease the um, length just shift it to the left side so that the first one and then the third one have the same height all right or they are on the same line and then the second one and then the fourth one to be on the same line now select the third one this one the um third shape this is first second and this is the third shape all right then press on ctrl plus g to duplicate that one also and then change the lower one to white color and you can also adjust that one as well okay also reduce the opacity to 50 good now the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to clip mask our images into this shape so first select this first shape select this first shape let's lock the orange shape that we worked on let's lock it so that we don't make mistakes so select the first shape head over to your files and then drag and drop this first image right here Right, and then click on this guy now right click on the image you imported and then click on create clipping mask and then let's adjust it like this we only want the face to show so like this just make sure everything is perfect okay think this is okay right 
All right, now let's click on the second ship, head over to our folder again, and then drag and drop this our second image here. And just like we did for the first one, let's clip mask it as well. But I think this is okay. So this is what we are going to do. Now because the images are not really filling up to this place, we have to match the shapes of the, the colors of the shapes with the colors of the uh, pictures, the image, the background images of the pictures. So this is what we are going to do. You select the shape, double click on this, and then you sample the color of the background of the image you clip masked. So then you click on OK. Let's do same for this one too. Double click on and then let's sample on this and click on OK. Now we are going to repeat the same process for the rest of the shape. So I'm going to fast forward to save more time. Alright, so now we are done clip masking all our images into the shapes. So what we are going to do is that I'm going to group all of them into one folder so that we don't get things messy. So you select everything here, excluding the background, alright, the shapes and then the images. You select everything, you drag it to the folder icon here to create one for them. Alright, now let's head over to the folder and then drag and drop our last image here and then I'm going to um, put okay so let's adjust it like this so I think the um, the shapes are small so let me increase it a little bit okay good i think the image is okay all right now that we have our image our last image in place i'm going to go ahead and then add our text so grab your text tool grab the text tool draw a text box then you start to type your text All right, so now we have our first text in place. Now we are going to add our last, but not the least text. So let me do final adjustment to the text. I think change this to medium and decrease the size. Okay. I think this is good. Now let's add our second text, which is Uchi Montana. Let's change this text to on um, this beauty text. And then give it a bold and then Let's increase the size a little. Okay, I think this is cool. Now the next thing we are going to do is to add our last text. So first grab your shape tool, the rectangle tool, and then draw a straight line, a straight rectangular line right on top of the upper um, guide. 
then change it to white all right so at this moment we can get rid of our guides so head over to the view and then click on clear canvas guides now let's decrease this to something like this with then we can reduce the opacity to um 80 sorry 70 or 80 70 is okay and then grab our eraser tool let's rasterize the shape let's decrease the size and then we can get rid of this part like this good and let's grab our text tool and then add our final text which is she and so yeah this is a disclaimer that is uchi montana in any way did not ask me to design this flyer for her all right i decided to do use her pictures to do a tutorial and so this particular video is only meant for educational purposes and should be treated as such and so yeah there we have our flyer looking so simple yet elegant so you can go ahead and then color grade your pictures as you want or as you please but then we are not going to do that in this particular video i have a full video on how to color grade pictures in adobe photoshop if you're interested i'll also link that video in the description of this video and then you check it out peace